Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're back with another first. Yeah, this is really cool. This is from the Netherlands. This is a place we really like. Yeah. We visited a few years ago. Yeah, we've visited a couple times actually. Yeah. Well, I have. have you? Oh, you yeah, have. No, I've only been once. <laughs> I'd like to go again. <laughs> yeah, I really, really loved it. Yeah. Um, this box is from the wonderful Naomi. Thank you so much for this. And we've also been sent some festive Tony Chocoloni items. Yeah, which works really well because Tony's itself is from Holland. Yeah. They're based in Amsterdam. And we actually flew out there a couple of years ago, didn't yeah. we? And checked out their whole operation. And we love those guys and we love their chocolate. We do actually have a video uh, of our time at Tony Chocoloni. Yeah. So we'll leave a link up there if you haven't checked that out. Definitely but I'm super watch. excited because we love their chocolate yeah. and what's better than having a bit of a festive spin can you believe we're doing christmas videos i can't i have my wonderful necklace from brookwood yeah and i've got my wonderful hat that i usually wear um i would have put my beard things in from brook but my beard's not quite still not quite hopefully long enough next yet. video hopefully next video it yeah. just needs a little bit to little grab bit more, yeah. if not we'll put it along the line yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that'll be like one of those australian hats yeah. with the corks oh yeah we could put it in your hair wasn't yeah. it my hair. Here we go. Hi Kate and Alex. I have been following your channel for a really long time. Your channel started my obsession for trying snacks from across the world. Oh, that's Thank cool. you for that. We absolutely love it when you guys say you enjoy trying, yeah. you know, going out there and trying new things. As a thank you, I wanted to send you guys a little box with Dutch things. Some things are seasonal. I'm very excited to see what you guys think of everything. Let's start with the seasonal stuff. Kruinid Notten. Kruid Nujet. New Cru jazz. Cruid new jazz. These are small cookie balls made with speculoos, spices, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom. All the classics. Scent three varieties, regular chocolate nuts and caramel sea salt. So I think we've got the regular here, the chocolate and the caramel sea salt. And it says these are only sold a few weeks before Cinder Claus, 5th of December. Ooh. Oh, and these are from Jumbo. Jumbo. And these are from Bolleggi. Jumbo, we've seen before. Jumbo sponsor recycling team. No way. It's like a massive supermarket in the Netherlands. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. This is awesome. Should we crack in? Yes, let's. Oh, and also, they sponsor Max Verstappen, the uh, Dutch no. F1 driver. Yeah. No way, that's awesome. So, it says here, Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. Or St. Nicholas is a legendary figure based on St. Nicholas, patron saint of children. Other Dutch names for the figure include De Sint, De Geode Sint, and De Golding Hagman. Mm. So basically, what happens on December 5th in the Netherlands? For most children in the Netherlands, the most important day during December is 5th of December, when Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas, brings them their presents. Ah, on the fifth, oh, you get them early. Nicholas, Exciting. Nicolaus lives in Madrid, Spain, and every year he chooses a different harbour to arrive in the Netherlands. No. So as many children as possible get a chance to see so him. So our father Christmas lives in- In the North Pole. Yeah, and theirs, theirs lives, lives in, in Madrid. Madrid? I was about to say Marbella. Yeah, Marbella. <laughs> lives Bougie. in Madrid, How what? Is that? is that true? So their day is actually earlier. 20 days earlier. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Well, okay, wait, right, well, should we crack it? Yeah, I love the colours of these. I it's love a lovely them. green and this. Really, looking yellow. at them, I wouldn't think they were Christmas, but when you look closer, look, there's a present. Yeah, this um, is like a um, bishop's hat. Yeah, I really a carrot like for, for Rudolph. Rudolph. Oh, I love how small these are. Oh, although they're chocolate mix, have they got oh, spices? Oh, they've got that little like soft biscuit. Yeah. Remember Michelle? Those are cool because it's chocolate mix, yeah. so you've got white milk and Ooh, dark. These are just kind of covered in like yeah. caramel. And then look inside these little and mini these ones. These are without any coverings. So I wonder if they're going to be as crunchy as this or if that's going to be a bit more moist. I'm going for these. I'm going chocolate first. Well, they're going to have speculoos in, aren't they? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, crunchy. No, it's crunchy. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Are they crunchy? Mmm. Yum. Mmm. What a treat. Mmm. These would be so good with a tea, a coffee, a hot chocolate. Mm. The crunch is amazing and the flavour is amazing. What? <laughs> I wonder if the kettle was on. <laughs> well, I was wondering what you're looking at. Mmm. Right, Try those. Like <laughs> so cute, aren't they? Mmm. Amazing. Are these as crunchy? Not as crunchy. It's almost like a little bit of a softness. That's lovely. These packs are like full to the brim. So full. Mmm. Wow. These. 
are incredible. They're so good, aren't I they? I love these. Mm. In some ways, I like them just as much. No, covered in chocolate. Uh, no, I know covered in chocolate's amazing. And they kind of have a... I really like the crunch from them, but they've got a slightly better but texture. But they're both just amazing. Yeah, both they are both yeah. amazing, but maybe the chocolate just tops it. Mm. Now, I wonder if that's like a white chocolate. Mm. Great flavour. These are so good. Struggling to know if I like these or the chocolate ones better. These are so good. See, look, it is white chocolate mm. with salted caramel. I'm guessing the inside's the same. Yeah. But somehow the salted caramel brings out different parts of the spices yeah. and then the chocolate Unless brings out- Unless these aren't as spice, because these taste much less spice, don't they? But maybe because it's more of a flavor. I think I'm going these only a margin above those. Let me try one more. And then these are different. I, I can't compare them against each other. I'm giving all of these 10 out of 10. I kind of think I prefer these. Really? Mm. I'm surprised at that. Me too. I, I think I like give them 12 out of 10. Chocolate. Mm. Both of these 12 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I would have to agree. They are phenomenal. So good. It's a shame they only come out a few weeks before. Yeah, I know. What a shame. What a fabulous start to the video. I love the crunchiness. I love the flavour. The spices mm. are amazing, but they're not too much. We don't Sometimes really get they're way too much, yeah. aren't they? It's like a light spice. It's just enough to give you that kind yeah, of like. Yeah, like the perfect yeah. amount. Naomi, what a fabulous start to your mm. box. I can already tell this is going to be amazing. This is also only part one as well. Her box was amazing, so we've got part two coming maybe in the new year. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to stick around, definitely subscribe. But we will be sending Naomi a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try a box, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support the channel if you like what we do here then think about checking out one of our boxes but this is amazing so far thank you so much naomi right we've got one more festive item yeah. do you want to try read that yeah it's gevold speculas also for cinder class it's a soft speculus with almond filling no mm, way very nice look at that maybe like an almond marzipan sponge mm. Do you guys do the tradition of leaving something out? Like, would you leave this out for Santa Claus? How do you Santa say it? Claus. Santa Claus. I think if you did, he might. Oh, yes, that is marzipan. Wow. Wow. That's rich. Oh, that smells Ooh, so dear. good. I never used to like marzipan, but I've, I've grown. Got into it I've a lot more, it. especially with the way they mix it with this like spongy mm. stuff. <laughs> I like that. That is so nice. I really like this, mm. which in the past I don't think I would. But you've always enjoyed like almonds and things, mm. so. How was that? Delightful. Would you eat that with like a cup of tea or something? That would be amazing with, yeah, chilling with a cup of tea. Little slice or a big slice of that. Lovely. Mm. We always love boxes mm. from like European countries, don't Netherlands, we? Netherlands, Germany. Germany. And especially their Christmas stuff. Mm. I think they have some of the best festive items. The flavours, the spices. They're like sponges. It's like spongy kind of biscuity, mm. cakey items. That's amazing. Now this is why I say this all the time, but mm. I'm so glad we have this channel because I would have looked at that and thought, mm, wouldn't, don't really like yeah. that. That was amazing. The marzipan was not too strong. Oh, so good. Mm. Really, really delicious. I think I'd give that out 10 out of 10, you know? Yeah, it was it's fabulous, so wasn't it? good. Yeah. The thing is, Really, I maybe I would give it a 10 out of 10. I probably wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because I wouldn't just go and pick that. Mm. I'd much rather those yeah. other treats, but it was really, really yeah. delicious. I probably wouldn't pick it up in a shop, but I wish I would. Yeah. And maybe I will now. I feel like you like would, Because stuff like that though. is delicious. Because you know often by the tills, you know, like places like Pret and mm. things, like you used to pick up some of those yeah. bars. I feel like if you saw that, you probably mm. would. Maybe I feel would, like yeah. you've picked up cake stuff like yeah. that. I cannot believe this. Subway crisps. And is this that like iconic restaurants? We had a series a bit like this. And so did America. Why are they getting Subway and we're not? No. Teriyaki flavor. Have you ever had a teriyaki crisp? No. So this is exciting. Not we've knowingly. got Subway teriyaki and then we've got some Lay's Hamkers original. Oh, they smell. Oh, teriyaki. Doesn't that almost has a smell of KFC? <laughs> Not Subway. Oh, is Subway still it, open? Oh. <laughs> yes. These are fabulous. These are so good. Why don't we get these? I don't know. I love the bag. The green, the yellow, and the white. Because I love teriyaki. Like in a stir fry with mm. teriyaki. Oh, so good. They're not spicy, but they do have a bit of a zing. Mm, very light hit to them. I'm giving those 10 out of 10. Yeah, so am I. They're fabulous. I don't think I could give them anything else. I like that they're a wave as well, mm. but they weren't too harsh. Sometimes you can eat a bag of crisps 
And your mouth's a bit cut up yeah. afterwards. Well, they're very light crinkles, aren't they? Really light. Which means when you bite into them, they're so crispy. Yeah, really good crunch, really good wave. Flavour was fabulous. 10 out of 10. Now, I have a guess at what this is. Well, and it's not what I was expecting. I think it's ham. I did think it could, could be, be ham something. barbecue or something. Interesting. Oh, they're cute. Oh, like little um, yeah, they literally potato smell. waffles. Yeah. Pretty funky, aren't they? Have a sniff as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very strong. <laughs> wow, they're very meaty. Strong flavour. Like, this is what I was expecting from the mischief horse. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a lovely flavour, though. I love the texture of them. I'm really enjoying the shape and the format mm. of this. I think that gives it a nice... So is this, like, actually more like a corn puff? I'm surprised you like them, because you're not into meat crisps. I'm not, but In I think... In some ways, these are too meaty for me. I don't think they taste meaty, though. Oh. I always think... Not barbecues in sweet or smoky, but it's just got, like, a barbecue flavour to me. What the hell? Well, I can tell what... I think you like these. Mm. Do you know what they taste like to me? What? Tell me. Alex puts nutritional yeast mm. on top of his food. Yeah. That taste is what I smell. Really? When you put your nutritional yeast on top. That's funny because that tastes cheesy and nutty. In some ways, these do have a bit of a cheesy flavour, mm. don't Let they? Me have one do you know what I mean? These are so are you good. going Subway or these as number one? Oh, don't ask me that. That's a hard question. I'm so surprised These are how much so you love them. Moorish. They I are Moorish. The I think part of the texture and the shape is why mm. they're so Moorish for me. It's a little bit meaty for me for once in my life, but I do like them. Shall we pull a cracker? Yeah, let's get it's in the festive Christmas. season. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey! Ooh. That was a really good snap. Satisfying crack, yeah. New and one. I'm sorry, the, the smell of a cracker is the best thing ever. I don't need it that close. Oh, well, this works out well because if anyone's <laughs> watching this, oh my word, Little you don't tinies. get one, you don't get two, you get three. That's so good. That's amazing. I think that's the best cracker, cracker filling I've yeah. ever seen. Because the thing is, you don't need more I do nail love clippers. It. No, I know. You, it's fun having a look at like a cheap thing in there. Yeah. But this is the best because this is actually useful. It's delicious. An edible cracker. Yum. Yeah. This is amazing. So can you buy a box of those or is that just like a little promo thing? I don't know. Surely so you, good could if you could buy get them. A box, we absolutely love Tony, so do check if your supermarkets sell any of these Tony yeah. items because they're perfect for Christmas. Yeah, because not only is their chocolate great, their cause is amazing yeah, as well. Yeah, it and really is amazing. Yeah, they're doing awesome stuff. Hey you, we hope this Choco surprise brings a smile. Love teams, Tony. Mm. Team Tonys. I've got the milk in the red. So two milks, yeah. and then we've got a milk hazelnut. Oh sweet! How fun is that? Love that. And what is inside here yeah. are also these minis. But what flavours have we got? We've got the milk, we've got the hazelnut again. And we've got a white. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wasn't that fun? You can just get these for Christmas, yeah. have them out like you would any boxes of chocolates. Yeah. Oh, what a good stocking stuffer. I love them in this form yeah. factor. They're so good because when we were at Tony's, they had them out in like bowls. I just put like a few in my pocket <laughs> and then and then over the weekend I just like nibbled. nibbled. They're a really so good, good size, aren't they? Perfect oh, size if so you just want like fun. a little bit of chocolate. They say good things come in small packages and here's the proof. Tiny Tonys are the little lift you've been looking for. In between meals, meetings or with a cuppa, made using 100% traceable cocoa and 100% ready for sharing, wrapped up in Christmas colours. Hand them out, hand them on the tree or hide one in the coat pocket of someone you fancy. <laughs> sharing is caring. We're Tony Chocoloni. We exist to end modern slavery and illegal child labour in the chocolate industry. Our vision is 100% slave-free chocolate, not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. The choice is yours. Are you in? That's pretty awesome. Get in. Yeah, maybe I'll just have to take a bag of that and just um, always good. have it with me if I see someone I like. I just... <laughs> But you'd have to write your number or something yeah. on the end, otherwise it'd yeah. be like, oh, just chocolate. Write your number on the back. <laughs> yeah. If you like this, give me a call. <laughs> I'm There's sweet. Where that came yeah, from. I'm sweet like that. Oh, yeah. that's amazing, isn't it? We'll yeah, say that's so. really cool. Right, shall we open some more of these goodies? Yeah, let's. We've got another thing from Jumbo. Come on, feel how heavy they are. Mm. Oh, they're cookies. Oh. Givaldi Cohen. Cohen. Is a Curry buttery thing. cookie filled with almond paste. Mm. I feel like they like that a lot in them, yeah. um, like the Netherlands. 
And then we've got Snelly Jelly. Snelly Jelly, what I don't know if that's how you say it, but this is a spice cake with raisins. We call it Aunt the which translates to breakfast cookie. If there was ever a video for us to have missed having a cup of tea, what I are we know, doing I know, I know. This literally looks like a slice of cake. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Ooh. What? Do you want the small part? Yes, please. Mmm, really lovely. I've really turned into liking marzipan. Mmm. That That's really such tastes a nice like marzipan, flavor. doesn't it? I like that. Lovely and moist, isn't it? The casing is lovely. In some ways, I prefer that to the um, mm, and chewy. More of the loaf thing. Yeah. This was delicious, but I think this is more up my street. Mm. That is fantastic. The casing is delicious, yeah. and, and then, then the, the inside. And it's kind of crumbly around the outside. And it's sweet. Mm. Ooh. I I think I like it because it is more of like a crumb. Mm. And on top, it's kind of like shiny. Is it like it's been kind of glazed? Mm. Must have been. That is so good. I bet you they make fresh ones as well, kind of in the shops. Yeah, I bet. Oh, I was just looking for a bit more <laughs> and I've got some here. That's funny, that seems seasonal. Mm. But she's, well, all of this seems. Yeah, but then maybe that's just because for us, marzipan stuff comes out at Christmas. And those spices. Mm. Mm. So you surprised at me saying this, but that is a 12 out of 10 for yeah, me. That is a 12 out of 10. That's so I good. love that. I think I might need to try a um, Bakewell tart again. Yeah. Because I'm really liking those almond flavours now. It might be dangerous if you do, though. Mm, probably. With a cup of tea, I think that'll be your mm. new uh, go to. I can't get over that. Do you want to try some smelly mm. jelly? <laughs> You're a bit of a smelly jelly, aren't you? Sometimes. Oh, yeah, sniff that. Get your schnoz <laughs> right on that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you need to? Because I can't so, get. I've got a just hold it. septum. Just hold it. I don't know why you're making me hold it anyway. Do you know what that smells like? It smells like alcohol almost. Malt loaf. Do you think? I'm not as sure of this. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Like a piece of fruit loaf. It's not as good as these delightful cookies. No. But it's really nice. And it's like a kind of fruit loaf you can get here. Especially with the texture. Yeah, that our neighbour makes a really good one and sometimes she'll bring one over. But slightly more spiced. I can never eat that because I'm really not a fan of raisins mm. and those like cherries and things when they're cooked. But what's good with this is I can eat and there's not too many raisins in there. It tastes a little like stale, but it's not. That's the texture of it's part bread and part fruit. Yeah, because that's it? a bit like these, isn't it? They almost, these ones are more crunchy, but the ones we've yeah. had in the past, almost you bite into them. Oh, it's like, mm -hmm. it's spongy and biscuity, and but like, like a little bit stale, yeah. So I like the flavors, but I much prefer the almond things. Mm. And I think that's because those, those flavors are more like raisiny, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So really nice, but I think I'm going the almonds over that. What are you giving that out of 10? I'm going to give that a nine out of 10. I really like it. Um, but I would pick these any day. I'd probably just give that like a seven. And we're on to the Tony's Chocoloni bars. Yeah. We've got two here. We've got... Gingerbread milk chocolate. And we've got dark candy cane. Tony's always has a really cool pattern oh, on their yes. bar. These ones for Christmas, you break around the outside and the middle is a Christmas tree that has a hole in and you can actually put on the tree. But sadly, I dropped ours you last year. You dropped ours, so it didn't work. <laughs> Tonys do grow on trees. Break out the chocolate tree and hang it up with a ribbon. If you're on a roll, you could even make a garland. Make sure you don't bark up the wrong tree. Hang the chocolate high enough that your pet Aww. can't reach. If you're feeling creative, you could also decorate it. Extra points for adding it to a nativity scene. <laughs> if you really can't get enough of it, you can hang it on your rear view mirror. <laughs> if you want to share your decorated tree, or if you want to talk the bark off the tree, we'd like to hear from you. Oh, you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Right, shall we crack in? The gold bar makes it like a um, a Willy Wonka chocolate factory. Hey, that's so cool. That's smart, isn't it? Yeah, that's just so beautiful. Well, I just love the angular shapes. Yeah. Around, I'm scared. Can I do it? Do you know what this is like? Although you haven't seen it. Then I'm just not going to know, am I? This is like. I've done it this year. In Squid Ooh. Game. Oh yes. I'm, but I've seen the memes online, even though I don't have a clue what it's on about. Oh, I haven't done it as perfect as you, but look. Chocolate gingerbread. We can get a knife in there. It's going to be so good. I'm going to take this. You want the small oh, bit? Yeah, go on. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Does it nice. like gingerbread biscuit mm. in there? 
That's lovely. I know quite a few of you, the last time we spoke about Tony Chocoloni, you guys started saying, I found it in my store. I yeah. found it in my store and I tried it. And so many of you absolutely loved it yeah. and said how delicious it was and creamy. All the flavors are just amazing. It's such a good cause what they're doing. Who wouldn't want to solve modern day slavery? Like it is crazy that is still happening. Mm. I think we can get so caught up in like our everyday lives that you don't actually realize yeah. what's going on. Who needs six packs when you can have a seven pack like me? Cause there's seven in there. I've got a seven pack then. Oh. Wow. Oh my God, look. Actual pieces of candy cane in there. Now you're much more into dark chocolate than me. It's quite powerful. That's amazing. I'm gingerbread and like the white ones. It's a lovely dark chocolate with really chunky bits of broken up mm. candy cane in there. That's so good. Really? Mm. What that tastes like is bark, holiday bark. Mm. Really good candy cane, but it's not too much that it gets stuck in your teeth though. It's only stuck in yours. It just adds like a nice crunch, doesn't it? And look at the colour on that. Mm. Isn't that rich and pure and delicious? Mm. Oh, these are amazing. And Very good. we have also been sent one of their advent calendars. I feel like we're the luckiest guys, aren't we? The luckiest kids in the whole wide we're world. We're the luckiest kids ever. Do let us know down below if you get advent calendars because I know not every country do. Really? Every year we get one and I don't care about age. You um, are never too old for a ca advent calendar. When I was in the shops the other day, I heard this woman say to the guy, oh, are we getting them advent calendars? Basically talking about mm. their kids. And the guy said, no, they're too old now. No. Never too old. Stop that. In Never fact, turn too around. Old. Buy your parents one as well. Yes. And then they'll understand why I it just, feels so nice. Why, why should you ever be too old for anything? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. So, although saying that, there are now much more adult advent calendars. There's well, gin, ones, gin ones, there's yeah. cheese, there's beers and things like that. So anything you could ever imagine is now an advent calendar. <laughs> yeah. Brew dog do a beer one. I think you can even get like sock advent calendars these days. You get makeup ones, don't you? Oh yeah, makeup and beauty and yeah. candles. But they're massive though, aren't they? Because you're like literally getting also, like Also, some of those mini, are like, like hundreds of pounds. Yeah. yeah. Shall we bring down yes. our Tony Shocker Lonely? This, <laughs> I think, is the biggest advent calendar I've ever seen. Do you know what this reminds me of? Do you ever remember when we were at school and they had really <laughs> large books? Yeah. <laughs> okay, kids. So we're going to read the first page. Yeah. And the, and the teacher would chocolate. like peer over the book. Yes, up here. I totally forgot we had massive books until, <laughs> so I was a dance teacher and we practiced at a school. Yeah. And I saw this gigantic book and I was like, oh my word, I remember that. Probably, I used to love that. Yeah, but you probably just thought it was like all in your head that the book was so yeah, big, but it was it real. It actually was yeah. real. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. There's 24 slots as well. Yeah. I thought this might only be 12 or something because not every uh, advent calendar these days does the 24. But only half of them are chocolates. No, they're not. Oh. So what are these? Oh. <laughs> oh my word. Do you think they'd be that mean? Um, I thought they were. No, so basically for every day, so start, not only are you going in <sighs> here, so I don't, I don't want to open it, yeah. but usually in an advent calendar, there's either a joke behind yeah. or an image. Whereas here, they are giving us actual Yeah, well like, I think in here are these minis. Yeah, so you look, get a different flavored mini every day. You you don't just get three flavors, you get pretty much all of them. So, so you get got milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, caramel sea salt, one of our favorites. Yeah, milk chocolate with almond honey nougat, which I love. Dark chocolate almond sea salt. Oh, I love that one. I'm gonna say I love them all. Yeah. Dark milk chocolate. Dark chocolate, 70%. Milk chocolate hazelnut. Dark milk pretzel toffee. We loved that, didn't we? Yeah. White raspberry popping candy. That's my favorite. I love Tony's little like quirky bits. Yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like the first ever Tony's Christmas countdown calendar. Waiting for Christmas has never been so yummy. Behind every door is a tiny Tony from our rainbow of flavors. What is your favorite ho ho hiding? Will you open one at a time or all at once? What? I didn't think That's that was not an allowed. No, no one is judging. <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> Our, our tinies are irresistible. We hope you enjoy our fun and not so fun facts about the chocolate industry as you count down and don't forget to share. It's that time of year after all. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Basically for every day you start. So start. The first is always the best. 
tear open window one and enjoy your very first Christmas tiny. That's such a good idea. And then like number it's two, like it's taking it's, you on the journey rather yeah. than you just come in and like mindlessly oh, opening it. It's like giving you a little thing, isn't it? Yeah. Sing a Christmas carol today for someone that looks a bit blue. Aww. That's so cool. Make a Christmas card for your neighbour, grandpa, or someone else that could use some festive joy. There's also some um, QR, QR codes. codes right now. There are 1.56 million children working illegally on cocoa plantations in Ivory Coast and Ghana. That's unfair. Time for change. That's really cool. I think it's such a good idea from Tony's. It's a really good way of spreading awareness. Yeah. I think. Oh, Tony's. Oh, Tony's. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony. That's like in House Loser Guy in Ten Day. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony. So me and Al will be taking it in turns. What's good is I like the more white and milk mm. and you like all the dark ones. Yeah. So it will be it really good. Well. If you can get that in your store, definitely get it for your friends and family. They will absolutely love that. Oh, for sure. As you can see, this box is more than full. I bought even more stuff, but couldn't fit it all in. Enjoy, Naomi. And if you want to follow her, her handle is at CandyReviewsNL. Oh, that's so cool. So she on must Instagram. do some reviews on Instagram. Absolutely that's amazing. Really cool. Naomi, you have sent us a fabulous yeah, box and box. this is only half of it. Yeah, so get subscribed if you want to be notified when part two comes out. We will be sending Naomi a box of British treats to try. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, we've got a whole selection of Christmas goodies on our yep. website at the moment and when you buy one of those boxes, it helps support the channel and I'm totally biased but I think Christmas is one of the best times to buy, you know, British candy so yeah, now's a good time to look. Get them while it lasts. A five, six, seven. <gasps> How do, we're gonna have to put that earlier in, aren't we? Da, 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 the treat of the week. Yeah. Okay, I think let's just stick to Naomi's items oh, yeah. because Tony's are always a treat of yeah, the week. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go. This is so difficult. This is really difficult. I really like those hamkers. I really like those crisps. I think I'm gonna have to go with these cookies. Me too. I so almost went I for really those. I really wanted to go for these, yeah, but. Well, maybe I'll this. go for those. Both of these are these phenomenal. Are so if you can get your hands on these, definitely. So I just good. love the almond paint in the middle. I can't believe that that's even coming out of my mouth. I can't wait to have one of these with a cup of tea. Oh yeah, that'd be good. We'll have to wrap them up nicely. Mm. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as we enjoyed eating all of that. Yeah, <laughs> I've never said that before. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.